Always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. By tonight, continuing to dry out already. It was a brief bout of rain earlier today. We did not mix out any of the smoke, however. You can see that there's a steady supply coming out of Western Canada, and this is creating problems for all uh, of Canada, including a good portion of the United States. You can see the smoke plume, again, is uh, densest where it's darkest, so the densest smoke is sticking in Canada. We've been seeing some decently dense smoke move into the Great Lakes, and earlier this evening, it actually mixed down to the surface. So if you smelled a little bit of smoke or you noticed a bit of haze, that was as the system moved through and we had some sinking motion in the back edge, and that was able to pull down some of the smoke to the surface. That usually doesn't happen too frequently. Temperatures right now sitting at 56 in Grand Rapids, 52 in Holland. We'll drop down to the 40s tonight. Again, a little wildfire smoke likely in the area with mostly clear skies. St. Joseph waking up to 46. That goes for Muskegon and Grand Haven. Holland 45. Nuego White Cloud a little cooler, 43. We could see 42 in Lakeview, 45 in Portland. But a lot of mid 40s on the board all the way down through Dwajak, Three Rivers, and Sturgis. From there, we're likely going to be seeing some cloud cover early and then sunshine a little later in the day on Saturday. So if we look at the hour by hour forecast, you can see that the cloud bank that's currently over Wisconsin and Minnesota does swing in to West Michigan. This is the time frame that we can see a quick sprinkle, but we're not expecting much, if anything. And then temperatures finally hit their peak on Saturday by about 4 o'clock, right in the mid-60 range. It's also going to be a little on the blustery side, so if you have outdoor plans on Saturday, especially ones that involve paper plates or something that can fly away, just know you're going to have to plan for that for Saturday and less so on Sunday. Sunday, the wind settles, temps near 73, plenty of sunshine. It's going to be a beautiful day. And then we actually hold on to the sunny trend for several days following. So here's a look at how the cloud deck moves in for Saturday. Scattered sprinkle, especially the further north of Grand Rapids you're going. If you're headed up north, you might run into more cloud cover. You might run into a quick light shower. But most of West Michigan is going to just start with some clouds, finish with some sun. It's not until after dark Saturday that we start to see the wind settle down for Sunday. And then following that, if we look at the eight-day forecast, precipitation chances, virtually none until we get to Wednesday, Thursday. And even that, it looks like an isolated shower at best. This is an incredibly dry eight-day forecast after a very dry start to May. And our temperatures will continue to amp up Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. As we enter into the unofficial start of summer, I know we get a lot of people that are really just eager to get outside. Yeah. This is an excellent forecast for that. Sure. This is the weekend you get the patio furniture ready oh, to go yes. for next weekend. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks, Helen.